breaking news. Tonight, an open wound in the city of Jacksonville Beach. The police department looking for multiple suspects in multiple shootings. This is new video and it shows people hiding, sheltering in place at the Ritz bar. Three people were shot. One person has died. Uh, one of those three people has died. And here's video of the heavy police presence in the bar district. And this is video of the police chopper searching for those suspects just before 10 o'clock tonight. There are two scenes now where multiple people were transported to the hospital. First at Sneakers Sports Grill near 3rd Street and 2nd Avenue North at the beach. We spoke to the Jacksonville Beach mayor who is praising law enforcement for their quick response in the midst of tragedy. I'm obviously very saddened by this tragic situation that impacted our beaches, but I'm I'm so just so glad to see how our police department has worked together to react and to be really responsive. We're told the Jacksonville Beach Police Department will give an update next at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. I'm Emily Turner. Action News Jack's Nicholas Brooks is live from the Wells Fargo on 3rd Street North. Nicholas, the scene has since cleared. That's right, Emily, it has. And also the Jacksonville Beach Police Department told us that the daily shooting deadly shooting, excuse me, took place at Sneakers Jack's Beach and it left three people were shot and two people are in critical condition and one is deceased. Now the scene took place earlier tonight at Sneakers Jack's Beach. Several people you can see running and screaming from the parking lot. Police officers were getting people away from the scene and I spoke to two witnesses who said they saw the whole thing. They said they saw two guys arguing in a parking lot with a crowd of people surrounding them. They go on to say that one man was pointing a gun at another man's head. The next thing they heard was 11 shots that went off. And now these two witnesses told me that those bullets hit the man's face. And also spoke with the mayor, Chris, uh, Christine Hoffman, who spoke on camera about this horrible scene that took place earlier tonight. Our police department has been really on top of reacting as well as working with our partner agencies, the other beaches, police departments, JSO 